So the first thing you might notice about the new Zero Edge Flex is instead of coming in a huge, huge box, it comes in a standard size box. Easier shipping, easier to get it in uh, pretty much any location. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it together for you on camera so you kind of get a good idea of what it's all about. And with some good editing, you won't have to see everything. One of the first things to note is I'm actually going to use instructions to do this. So one of our newest things is we're packing screen material actually inside a tube instead of rolling it on a tube. It protects the material from damage and shipping. Remove the hammer and hardware box. And one thing, be extremely careful when you pull this out of the box because the trim pieces are very small and relatively fragile and can be easily bent. So removing it from the box does require a great deal of care. The first thing that the instructions say is to lay the frame out and do the assembly. Inside the box, there are gloves for handling the screen material. Can't forget about putting the logo on in the end. A small flat screwdriver. We do include a small rubber mallet for installing the edge trim. And then the corner brackets for assembling the screen. There are uh, a total of eight corner brackets, two in each corner. We also have our center frame spreader. This is the first thing that's installed. There are four hex head screws. And an Allen key in the box. frame stiffeners in place, we'll put the end pieces on. Insert your corner brackets into the vertical. Align the vertical at the corners.
it's best before you tighten the inside corners, ensure that the opposite uh, vertical is installed and the outer uh, brackets are tightened. four of the inner brackets. No need to over tighten, just good and snug. Now that the frame is completely assembled, we're going to pick it up and move it and get it out of the way so that we can unroll the actual screen material and get it prepped. Before handling the screen material, gloves are very important. Oily fingerprints and projection screen material do not mix at all. We do provide enough gloves for two people. It's not a bad idea to have two people do this. Okay. Open the end of the tube, carefully remove the material. And discard the tube. provide easy to tear masking tape, you never use sharp objects to cut open the screen material. At this point, arrange the material so you can set the frame back directly on top of it. Make sure there's no sharp objects anywhere near. is laid down on the material and evened out, what you want to do is little sticky circles holding the snap fasteners in place. Remove those and move the snaps near where the corresponding snaps are on the material itself. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to snap the corners first. We'll go to each corner and ensure that the material itself goes to the uh, corner snap that is held in place and can't move. So the best way to do it is give it a little pull and put it in place. And then go to the opposite corner and go around that way.
Don't be afraid to give it a good tug. The thumbs will appreciate it. Now that you've got the corners tight, start working center out. And get four or five on one side and then grab the other side. That way you keep even tension on the screen. done, then go ahead and move around and get all the rest of the snaps. Okay, once all the snaps are done, you can turn the screen over to install the trim. Carefully lift, inspect and ensure that there are no wrinkles along the edges of the screen. As you can see, there are none. It's nice and flat and taut. Remember, this trim is fragile, so you don't want to bend it. Well. This is where the hammer comes in. So the first thing we're going to do is lay the trim out where it's going to go. So obviously the vertical. And the horizontal. Now one thing to note, the trim is not symmetrical inside. There is a right way and a wrong way. And according to the instructions, the trim pieces themselves have a small uh, ex uh, extension inside the extrusion that goes on the back side of the screen. So look for that little bump on the back side that goes along the length of the extrusion. So the round part towards the back of the screen. Hard to see, but if you look very closely, you can see the difference. So since that's the back of the screen, we're gonna flip this around. Start at the corner. And press it into place. We're not going to pound it into place yet. We're just going to put it on by hand.
Now you can carefully tap it. Go to each corner and tap it until the corners align. If you get a gap, then go to the opposite end and get the corner together down there. Apply your logo and you have a zero-edge flex.